So tennis empathy. This is the phrase that I use a lot with my players, and what I'm talking about when I refer to tennis empathy is your ability to put yourself in the other person's shoes. So in tennis, in a competition, that has to deal with your opponent's shoes. So here's what I'm talking about. This I'm really talking now about the whole area of pre-match jitters. I've coached for so long and have so many players that struggle with their pre-match jitters, and the whole time, if you kind of, as I sit with them, as they prepare to go out and compete, uh, I'm hearing all their talk and their inner talk, and they're kind of sharing what's on their mind, and they're just stressed out. They're totally stressed out. And one thing that I always found obvious, or like interesting actually, is that they, they only worry about the stress that they themselves are feeling, and, and tennis players do a pretty bad job of kind of realizing that the other guy is about to compete as well, and he might just be as stressed out or even more stressed out. This became real clear to me when I was coaching two kids at a, at a tournament. This is actually a few years ago, and they were both my kids, so I had a little bit of time to talk to one kid before the match and the other, and this first kid I talked to was all stressed out. Man, Jimmy's going to beat me. Jimmy it's a fake name. And... Um, he was all like worried about his, his results and he, and he just assumed that Jimmy, the other guy, was just completely calm and cool as a cucumber. And then when I went to talk to Jimmy, you know, he was all worried that the other guy was all cool and calm and he was only worried about him. So we tennis players have to do a much better job of having empathy. So let's go on the court right now with Marty and I and, we, and Carly and we're going to discuss this concept of tennis empathy. And empathy is your ability to feel what your opponent is feeling, what the other, put yourself in someone else's shoes. So this is something that tennis players do very poorly. Uh, I've seen my own tennis players that I've coached go into a match and they just, they're all worked up, they're agitated, they're nervous, they're stressed out. And when I ask them, what do you think your opponent's feeling right now? They kind of look at me and say, well, what do you mean? You think they're agitated, nervous? They don't think of it that way. They assume, erroneously, that the guy is cool as a cucumber. So in your example, we're going to stay with Carly. She's going to Nationals next weekend, or next Tuesday. Um, you're going to be warming up for your first match. You don't even know who you're playing. Could it be someone from another state, probably someone from another state, mm -hmm. uh, big name school, smaller school, you don't know. But as you're warming up, it's a good possibility that you'll be excited, maybe have a few butterflies going around. So what do you think? I want you to verbally say some of the feelings that your opponent's going to have. They don't know you. They don't know that. They know you're from Michigan. That's all they know. Uh, so what are some possible thoughts that might be running through your opponent's head? Um, they could also be nervous. Maybe like, oh, I don't know if this girl is good or bad, depending on if they're a seed. They might try to guess how good it will be, and they might be thinking about our abilities. They're okay. kind of nervous, like, I don't know what to expect. Cause we're okay, so one thing they could be feeling is nerves. What else, mm -hmm. if any? I want you to verbalize these. Speak them out loud. They could be confident if they're highly seated and okay. stuff like that. Um, you could also, I guess, have really no one else. <laughs> okay, so it could be uh, nervous, it could be fearful, they could be agitated, but the point is, until the match starts and they get to see firsthand how things are unfolding, um, it's very likely, because our default, our factory settings, if you will, are kind of negative, that someone goes out and they think they're worse. And then maybe, you hit, maybe you've done this, so you're warming up and the guy hits a really good overhead or a sweet shot. You're like, whoa, this guy's going to be great. And we, we start to look at the bad of stuff. So having empathy and realizing that your opponent is equally as stressed out as you. It's not likely that you're the only one on the, your side of the court that's um, stressed out. If the guy doesn't know you, now the only time I can see this being different is someone that you've played, they know you intimately, they beat you 6 0 6 0 all the time, then chances are they're not. But all these matches, the majority of them that can go either way, it's a typical match, empathy and feeling and trying to understand what your opponent feels is a huge way to reduce your own stress. It kind of gets you in the right frame of mind.